Jesus comes to give us grace in our own world. We did not have the answer. I like how Paul writes both to the Corinthians and the Romans. He said, by knowledge, man has not discovered God. By the wisdom of man, man have not fallen upon God. Paul writes to the Corinthians, he says, actually, it's by the foolishness of this world that God has revealed his plan because he catches the wise in their craftiness. Sometimes we think that it's our actions and our deeds and our stuff that's really bringing us closer to the Lord. My friends, that has nothing to do with it. It's the grace and mercy of Jesus who decided, I'm going to step off my throne to go rescue them. I want you to understand, Jesus stepped off his throne to come get you. And the enemy wants to come in and convince you that, oh, you're not worthy of anything. You're not worth anything. And the problem is we replay that in our head over and over and over until we start believing it. But the truth of the gospel says, no, Jesus got off of his throne to come and get you. And if we can agree with the truth, then we will agree with the fact that Jesus says, you are valuable to me. And we might look inwardly and say, why? And that's a good response to look inwardly and say, why? Because if we really look inwardly, unlike what Disney says, we're not going to find our way. We're not going to find our truth. What we're going to find as we look inwardly is that there's really no reason that Jesus stepped off of his throne. So as we start asking this question of, why, Lord, did you do it? I'm not really worth it. He responds with, because I love you. Because I care about you. Because it was worth it for me. This is why John writes, God so loved the world. This is why he says that. Because John will be the first to tell you. It wasn't because something that John did. In fact, that's why he pens throughout the rest of his letter, the one that Jesus loved. He recognizes that there is nothing in himself that qualifies him for the love of God, but it was simply the choice of God to love him. And he identifies himself by that. I'm the one that Jesus loved. That's what grace is. And what I love is that Jesus went right to Zacchaeus. And can I tell you, Jesus has come to you. And here's, here's the kicker. Jesus is going to your neighbors. Jesus is going to your friends. Jesus is going to your coworkers. And as we are to be the body of Christ, sometimes what's happening is as Jesus is going to them and he wants to use us, we say, no, I'm good. And we don't let him use us. But I want you to understand grace is the fact that God, in spite of all of our failures, in spite of all of our shortcomings, still makes a way to come and to find us. Salvation comes, first of all, because of repentance that Jesus is Lord. Second of all, because God loves us so much that he's given us grace.